at the moment, and certainly one of the biggest names we have ever produced on this side of the Atlantic Ocean. He is the WBC World Heavyweight Champion and Lillian Champion of the World, defending again the ninth time that he defends the lineal title. No fluff required. Tyson Fury is the people's champion in the United Kingdom. One can argue he is our biggest sporting star at this moment anywhere. And he's going to come into the room now with Derek Chisora. Welcome, Derek. Derek is the man who intends to create a sensation, an historic heavyweight victory. It would be, here is the man, War Chisora, who has tried so, so often, 12 times defeated on big occasions, but never, never to be ruled out. You would not be denied. <coughs> Welcome to you. Tyson is on his way now. What do you want to do? I didn't know Trains his qualification as an electrician, but he did come in useful there. Thank you very much indeed. All right. While we're waiting for Tyson, let's get started with you. How are you? I'm fine. Are you relishing fight week yet again? Yes. Is this going to be one of those press conferences when you're going to try a few tricks, including hanging the presenter out to dry? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you very much indeed. I didn't know, I have quite a long list of questions actually because I knew you'd do this to me today. How did you get this job? What happened? By phone call. Okay. And had you campaigned to get it? Or did Tyson call you to say, I've got a nice bit of work for you? Why? Both. Was there ever a moment of doubt that you might just be left to watch Fury fight somebody else this time? No. Were you already in training with Tyson Fury in mind? No, I was in the body. Very nice guy that is too, very sweet. So it was late summer, early autumn? Yes. Okay. And, sorry, you were going to actually say more than three words there, Derek. I interrupted you. Are you taking this fight because you know you've got something that can give Tyson Fury a problem? Yes. And what is that? Me. How are you going to make that into one of Chizori's greatest nights and an historic victory? How are you going to do that? Just, um, okay. We're going to get his very good moment. You even smile when you see it because, you know, on one level there's such respect between the two of you, I don't know, but dare I even boring. say it. Well, let's get it on then. Come on. Camp is here. You don't need me to introduce the WBC World Heavyweight Champion defending the title again. Hello. It's not even on. Hello. It's on. That's alright. Is this Mike on? No. It's on now. Can I get a fucking cheer? What? You come in, you think of us like a featherweight champion or something there, not the heavyweight champion. Come on! Oh, that was pathetic! Oh, what, 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 How are you? Oh, I'm alive and well, kicking, handsome as ever. You look great. Absolutely. Fantastic. I'm in great shape, great spirits, ready to rock and roll. Big Dan's on stage with that coat on. You look that. <laughs> Big Dell's up here, Big Kevin. What an opportunity to be boxing on this. All heavyweight card. Get up two world heavyweight titles. Can't get better than that, I must say. Must say. Fantastic promotion. Where do we start with the relationship between Tyson Fury and Derek Chisora? You have fought twice, two tremendous Fury performances. Why <coughs> this job now, Tyson? I'll tell you why. Because whoever fights Derek Chisora is in for a fucking good fight. Um, that's what we know, that's what we're prepared for. And he was available, ready to rock and roll, stepped up to the plate, and bang, here we are. 
our Tottenham on Saturday night going to give it down, throw down to the fans right before Christmas. It's like a, a Christmas cracker. Unbelievable. I will apologise for the language for those who are offended by it. The and I just want to say, if anyone's offended by my language, GET A FUCK OUT OF THE DOOR! The, the apology's been made. Did, did you feel you had to get a job at a fight in this year? Yes, yes, I needed the fight this year. There should be a little company behind you. Regardless of who it was. Oh, sure he's here. Big man's here. Collectively, did you feel you, you needed to get a Back in the ring this year. I love fighting. I always need to fight. I wish we could fight every single month of my life. Derek's the same. We love to fight. So if we could fight 12 times next year, that would be fantastic. Unbelievable. And I know Derek would definitely sign up for that right now. 12 fights next year. Huge. Various well-informed sources over the last three, four years, Tyson, have told me that there were numerous exchanges between the two of you. Basically, on your amazing recovery story, you tipped in the ring and you said, look, when the time's right, I will get in the ring with you. Obviously, that's going to be a very good payday for you, which you deserve. Is that true? You give us your version of that first. Is that true that this has actually been bubbling away for three or four years? One, two, one, two. Uh, listen, um, first of all, um, I just want to say this here. Yeah. Um, if I can sit here and try and be more aggressive and Tyson and try and say so many bad words, I cannot because the man I'm seeing, I'm looking at right now, uh, he's giving me an opportunity when Frank Warren didn't want to give me an opportunity, when Bob Aaron was saying they didn't want to give me an opportunity, when even my old promoter and he heard they want to give me an opportunity, he called me up and he said to me, I want to fight you, I want to give you a big payday. And I say, yes, let's make it happen. Yeah. And then for me to sit here and try and talk shit and try and say so many bad things about this man who's actually giving me food on the table for my kids, I cannot. <laughs> and, uh, all these guys in the, in the game, you know, Frank, all these guys, they want me to be on this stage. You understand? They didn't want me to be on this stage. I can hear them. Reports have been writing so many bad things, but I don't care. But come on Saturday, I can guarantee you this. Friendship will be out the door. Me and this big man, we are going to get it on. Do you understand? I'm not going to try to hold back for anything. Do you understand? So come on Saturday, we are going to go to, I'm going to go to war. Yeah, I'm going to come. There's no two words about it. As I said before, I want to take what's his and make mine. Physically and mentally, this is what I want. You understand? Yeah, so it's okay for him to say whatever I want to say, but I'm really true. I'm in the ring, he's in the ring, it's only two of us. You understand? So, so for me to sit here and try to slay the Furies, I cannot, you know, I cannot talk shit about him, about anything, because there's nothing to say to a man who phones you up and puts food on the table for your kids. What is it about you though, Derek? Because you, it's not just a group of modern day scribes who've written you off. You've been written off for a decade and you keep coming back. That's, that's the British way, you know. But they don't get it. I've got, I'm, I was born in Africa, bro. You know, and one thing we know in Africa is we don't give up. You only give up when you die. You know, that's what you give up. But when you're alive, you can do it. Don't give up. That's an African mentality. You know, Africa is a country that keeps giving and giving and giving. You know, you can take anything you want, but we've got more than what you take. So we don't give up. You know, for me to suddenly give up because your newspaper say you should give up or this and this, I cannot. Because I was bored in Africa, you understand? And I'm so happy that I'm still in the game. You know, I'm so happy I'm still in the game because there's a lot of guys in the game who don't produce what I produce. The numbers on, on the box of this, the numbers of, of the cells. You know, there's only, I think in the, in the game, I was just, me and him, we've been, we, we tend to the same time. You understand? So I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm yeah, two years apart, it's how much you show Yes, yeah. yeah. Now, admiring this man as we all do, there is a, a perception at the moment that it's possible that Tyson Fury, the boxer, is actually getting better, even now. So how are you going to stop that Tyson Fury from just marching right through you? 
Like, that is between me and my training man. What are you said? That's fighting talk. That is fighting talk. Don't worry, I won't be anywhere near it. It's up to you guys. <laughs> How are you going to do it? You shall see. Yeah. How many days you got left now? Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. You should so you need. Buy the box off, buy the papers. But I can guarantee you, you are going to love the whole show we're going to put up. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not going to be a stinker. It's going to be a great fight. His last fight in Wembley was this year. But this one is not going to be that. Yeah. Jack, I, I spoke to your father, John, this morning, and I know that when you're not training and working and thinking about the next fight, you guys spend so much time looking at the history of boxing, and so you have a very keen understanding that things can go wrong. Yes. And it has happened and happened again. How are you going to prevent it happening to you? I'm doing what I love to do. Getting paid to do what I love. Um, I take my career very, very seriously, as of late, anyway, the last few years I have. Um, I'm looking forward to it, cannot wait to get out there, put a show on and, and entertain. Like Derek said, come Saturday night, there's no, there's no friendships, there's no friends in business. And this is a business transaction. So we're going to go in there, punch the fuck out of each other, and then afterwards we can have a nice little sandwich, a cup of tea, whatever he wants. Not a problem. But while we're in there, we're in fight mode, we're going to put on a good show, and listen, as I hear all these critics talking bullshit, who basically never took a punch in their life, but in a two-horse race, never underestimate anybody, because anything can go wrong, and as we've seen many, many times in the past, when champions overlook their opponents, and think, you know what, I'm thinking about other names, I'm thinking about other big fights, and then you got the opponent training away nice and steadily under no pressure, goes in there, knocks the motherfucker out. Seen it time and time again. But for me, that will never happen because I train very hard and I respect every opponent that I've ever faced. Um, I give 110% every time I'm in the gym. I put in nine weeks of training for this fight. I've never had sex for six weeks. I want to come in there like a ramping rabbit. You know. <laughs> and I want to just put on a good show, you know. Derek's going to come and knock me out, and I'm going to come and try and knock him out. So there we are. It's, um, it's going to be on like Donkey Kong. There's nothing more to say. Like I said earlier in the first press conference, like, why did you fight Derek Chisora? Because you've beaten him twice already. The thing is, like Derek said, there's a lack of names in the division. There's plenty of, there's plenty of depth in the division. There's a thousand heavyweights in the world. But there's lack of household names. I could have fought somebody, I don't know, 34 and 0 from, I don't know where, some, some foreign country. And everyone was like, who the fuck is this guy? Well, you mentioned Derek Chisora, they know who Derek is. For good, bad, they're in different reasons, controversial, whatever. They all know who he is, and you know, both know, so we're going to put on a good show. And here we are, we sold about 60,000 tickets at, um, at Tottenham. So uh, it's a very much interest, right before Christmas. And let's, let's paint a picture here. Imagine if it snows. And we have a white Wembley out there. And everyone gets snowed upon, and it's just the written. As you get it right, it's not Wembley, it's Tottenham. Tottenham, then. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It, it wasn't very warm for the Wembley, but Sit down. it's going to be quite sharp. I just wonder how you guys are going to prepare for, for the conditions. And there's some, some historic fights, many historic stadium fights over the years, but not many in December, if any. So that it could almost be groundbreaking that you're doing this in December. Have you thought deeply about the conditions? I'm an all condition boxer. Um, I think when you go in towards the ring, you don't feel anything. Either. You don't feel punches in the face in the boxing ring. You definitely ain't feeling the cold. Dreadlands going, you're ready for a fight. You're not going to be feeling the cold. You, uh, you're in there to do a job, get out of there. What if it makes you wait? Did you wait? Have to wait a little while? The way with? Anything I have to wait, don't I? Some would argue you've spent your life waiting for an opportunity like this. Hey, lifetime about waiting, you know. Uh, before you get married, you look for the right woman, you wait, you find the right woman. You know, if he wants to take 20 minutes to come in the real, I'm cool with that. I've seen it before, I don't mind. You know, it don't, it don't really matter. The one matters is this. This here, yeah, for me, I don't really matter about waiting, you know, in front of these 60,000. 
I'm buzzing. I'm ready to go on my show. I want to wait. I'll wait. He's a champion. So wait for the champion to come in. If you want to take his time, you can take his time. I, I won't make you wait. I'll be running to the ring like the Ultimate Warrior. Please run to the ring. Sprint it. Please run to the ring. Do what you want to do. Come to the ring. This is getting on. That's all. I don't mind. I, 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 nothing phases me. Jonathan, I'm cool. Derek, thank you very much you do for being with us. And if you don't mind, the last word should go to the champion. One of the other reasons, Tyson Fury, why the British people absolutely love you, cannot get enough of you, is you take risks in there as well. You know, you got a really bad cut against Wally. We thought you were going to stop by that cut. That was a fight you, you, you made quite difficult for yourself. You're, you're happy now. You produced the, one of the greatest miracles of all time, getting up in that moment against Wilder, but you've been down a few times, six times, I think. Are you prepared to take risks against this guy? And given the consequences of doing that? Listen, every time you get in a boxing ring with a heavyweight, it's a risk. You get knocked spark out in 10 seconds, and then all people say, oh, Tyson Fury's a shit house. You cannot please everybody. No matter, I've won 32 fights in a row. I've been a professional 14 years. And I've, I've learned in that time, you can't make everybody happy. But well, the most important thing I've ever learned is you don't need to make everybody happy. The only person you need to make happy is your wife. Because everybody else will always have a different opinion, but they don't have to live with you. Amen to that. And the one person you have to keep happy is that wife, because if you've got a happy, a happy wife, you'll have a happy life. And if not, then you're fucked. Amen to that. Oh, she's saying that. You know, we had a bet a few days ago. My name was Shukore, so I'm excited about that. What is the wager? There's no, there's no money involved. You don't want to do money. Dinner, isn't it? No, no you're smart. He made for a restaurant. No, no, there's no dinner. This is, this is between me and him. He knows what it is. Will you tell us after the fight? I don't think you'll need to tell you. You'll you'll see it. You will see it. Okay. I think I, for this, we want to give you the first best round in the heavyweight game forever. This will be, uh, for my point, the opening bell to his fight is going to be electric. So by the time you want to sit down, you want to sit down, you'll be standing up. And I believe so. If he gets Paris to give him his balls back on his wife's bottom handbag, that'll be fine. So he can get the fight on on the first round. First round, we need the first round to be electric. So the player can be buzzing, so people can talk about it. So I'm prepared to do it, I don't know if he is, but Romano Tyson is a man of his word. We should call him, we spent on it. So we're going to go for it, so I'm buzzing. I'll have to ask her for them balls. <laughs> she might not give them, right? I'll have to, might have to do it without the balls, but whatever. You're the man in control. The stage is yours finally, Tyson. There's our camera. BT Sport Box Office, ESPN Plus. Your whoa, 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 whoa. I should have got on the stage once to say something. Sure, would, would, you like to say, would you like to add anything? It needs to be on, it needs to be on camera. It needs to be fair. Welcome, people. Welcome, of course. Give him time to say. <laughs> well, first of all, I'd like to say, um, bruh, bruh, bruh. and I would like bruh, to say, bruh, bruh, bruh. and also, <laughs> he, it's not his first round, you know, he won't be, he won't be crazy, but you know, that uh, phase is deep. That was good, that was good. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to oh, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm I, I, I might let one go on you later on. I'm not joking, I'm joking, I'm not joking. He's not with it. Sugar Hill, I'll you. Oh, that was everything, okay? Derek spoke very well of me, so I'm very well appreciative of that. Okay. And uh, yeah, just uh, happy to be here with these two guys and everybody else. And uh, just oh, it's time to play something on another big event. <laughs> another big event. Oh, you don't want to? Oh, okay. I'm, 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 <laughs> Easily. Listen, there's guys who are standing outside the back. Daniel, Daniel, deal with this guy quickly. He's a murderer. Deal with this guy, Daniel. Daniel, let's, 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 Daniel, let's, let's, Daniel, you're probably talking to you right now. Deal with this guy. Sugar, let, let's leave that as a secondary debating point for after the fight, shall we? I'd like to ask the WBC World Heavyweight Champion to close this show. Again, our camera over here, Tyson. BT Sport, Box Office Saturday Night, ESPN Plus, Camera. Global Audience, Tyson, please tell everybody what we are in for Saturday night. Saturday night, you're in for a treat. Tune in.
All right, Tyson Fury, WBC World Heavyweight Champion, Derek Chidora on this occasion challenge. Thank you very much indeed. Kevin Lorena, thank you very much indeed to you. And what is your name? WBA Heavyweight Champion. Thank you everybody for joining us here. As close as one can get, then uh, we'll ask you to politely face off. Thank you everybody, good afternoon. <laughs> Soul deep within him. 